In this acrylic pour painting tutorial, today I'm talking about what is new for me in 2023. If you've been watching my channel, you know I am stuck on ring pours, galaxy pours, straight pours. And so uh, thank you for joining me today. If we haven't met, my name is Garrett Brand Art Studio, and this is the Pouring with the Fellas collab. So in this collab, we're just talking about what's new, what, what do we have going on? So this year, my focus for the first half of the year is Galaxy Pours and ring pours and straight pours. I spent months digesting and watching different videos. I'm just learning the technique. It is a rather simple technique, but baby, let me tell you, there's a lot of small nuances and tips that I have stumbled upon in the preceding month. So being an artist, my creativity is always flowing. So I wrote a poem just for you. It says, roses are red, violets are blue, straight Pores are amazing, just like you, baby. So if no one has told you I think you're pretty amazing, let's go ahead and jump into the paints. I see you in a minute. I open up a new jar of American Floetrol and it's super thin. So my paints were a little bit thinner. Um, so knowing how to work this technique is really important because uh, one thing that people get really tripped on, on with straight pours and ring pours is the consistency. Can you do a ring pour or straight pour or galaxy pour with a thin consistency? Yes. But there are a lot of factors that play into that, including what type of paint you're using. And then you can also do and achieve different effects depending on the consistency and the thickness. So that's something I'm going to be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience. I want to see you in the building. There are also some other opportunities to meet me and paint with me in person. All of that information is below. Okay, but let's keep watching this more. <laughs>
So as we tilt and do some adjustments, I just want to talk to you a little bit. Um, you see, I got my cloud effect going. Yes, I do, along with my fingerlings. Um, and so that cloud effect really gives the contrast and look to this Galaxy Pour. Um, a lot of people use the Satin Enamels by Deco Art, and that is what I used in this pour. But I can tell you that I am experimenting with other products. I don't want to be bound to one product. What if they stop selling Satin Enamels? What if they change the recipe? And I think that um, there are some other products that might yield an even better result. I can say you don't always, or I don't always get the cloudy effect even when using the satin enamels but i've pretty much nailed it now to know how it works how it reacts um, and what colors to pair it with so just touching up my sides here and a little bit a little more adjusting <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is a close-up. Um, just the fingerlings in itself, that contrast with that Prussian blue and the white is just really, really pretty. Um, I'm still torn about leaving some of the pink that you see up there. Um, I like the contrast, but I kind of feel like I should have tilted it off. Uh, but this is how the piece dried. It dried perfectly. I'll show that in another video. Um, and as we do this flyover, I have some bonus content for you because this collab is super special. Please check out all of the other amazing artists. Um, we have all worked hard in putting this together and really thrilled, okay, for you to hang out with the fellas for just a few minutes. So this is some art that I created with my own art. This is the other galaxy. Hope you love it. And here is some bonus content of some future pours. Okay, it's super special. So here you go. Um, I'm really enjoying this galaxy pour series and bringing you all tips and tricks. Um, I've been inspired by so many. Willie B Studios, Sarah Mac Art have to give their kudos. And so I'm just loving exploring my own spinoff on this series. And I'm enjoying bringing it to you. So remember, family, treat up, uh, do everything with love, treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Until the next time, peace.